Hey guys. <clears throat> so what time is it? It is 8.53. I'm gonna go get me a little oil change. It needs to be done. I've been putting it off for the longest time. And then after I drop off my car, I'm gonna start uploading all the videos that I edited over the weekend and start um, editing some of those thumbnails and stuff. There you go. That's good in there. So yeah. Eek. Okay, so anyway, me and him, we got into a little spiff last night and then he just kind of like, he keeps poking and poking. He's one of those type of guys, which is why I was saying that we can never be together because I will kill him. Um, this is why I'm, I'm not even like a hard person to deal with, but I just can't. <laughs> we, I mean, it was cool yesterday, but, um, he just started doing that bullshit that he does. Like, I'm not trying to have sex with you, <laughs> you know, and he just starts acting really like everything starts getting on his nerves once you are not having sex. And I don't have time for that. Like, how about this? How about you be better in bed and then we can work something out? <sighs> How about that? <laughs> so I'm not about to be taking off my clothes for some whack ass dick. Like that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> and he doesn't understand that. Guys just want sex. They don't care a lot of times if it's good or not, or if it's even good for you. They just want sex. And it doesn't work like that. And I I'm like, who are these women that are still giving these whack ass dudes pussy? I'm guessing it's just like girls who don't maybe know what's good and what's bad. Well, I'm here to tell you. If it doesn't stay up, it's not good. Let's try that. That's for starters. <laughs> Sex talk with you. Just kidding. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go get me a coffee from McDonald's. I feel like that's just needed right now. Um, I washed my face. My face is a little bit greasy because um, I have that. I'm letting it just kind of set on my face right now. <laughs> set on my face. I'm letting this serum just kind of like sink into my face, um, into my skin. You know, I did my little wash or whatever, quick wash. And then I put the serum on it and I put the cream on my eyes and everything. So, yeah. I didn't even get my leftover food. That's how annoyed I was with this bitch ass. <sighs> like, it's just a love-hate relationship that I'm ready to be out of. I literally only talk to him because, guys, I don't really have any other options. Like, honestly, I don't really have any better options. And I don't have really, I don't have any options. He's the only option I have. So, I still talk to him and stuff. Um, but it's just a good thing to get my mind off of things. When I'm not being around my bitch roommate. You know, I'm just constantly around people that I don't want to be around. This is why I just like being by myself, and I need to be by myself, because I don't like people in general, so it's hard to be around people that I definitely don't like. Like, it's very hard to meet people. It's, it's not even, it's just hard to meet people in general, and it's not even like it's hard for me to meet people that I actually like. I'm just around people who are older than me, and they're set in their ways, and they're fake bitches who are set in their ways. It's just, it's really annoying for me to be around these people all the time. My mom called me. I guess I can call her. It's it's really cold this morning, guys. Like, I'm wearing this, and it, it's 56 degrees outside, which is pretty cold for Austin. I'll call back my mom. So, you guys know how I was telling you about my brother yesterday. I had talked to him. I was talking to him about the situation. Well, no, actually, it was two days ago. He doesn't really care because nobody in my family... Unless you're not talking about them, they don't give a damn about what you're talking about. Like, seriously. That's just how they are. They really don't care about anybody but themselves. They're the most selfish people. But they still want to call you just to say that they're keeping in touch. They're, 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 they are those type of people. So, um, anyway, I thought for a second, for a second maybe I could talk to, to him about something. But he's not worth talking to. I don't, like, he's not worth it. You know, and I don't even know if he watches my YouTube. You guys know this is a crazy brother who, um, he likes to spy on people. And he likes to record conversations and stuff. Just craziness. Um, so yeah, that's who he is. And, or whatever. He's the one who I told you about. He had his daughter call me for my birthday. Um, and I just, it was just, it was kind of weird because I hadn't talked to her in years. And I didn't know if the conversation was being recorded or not. So, I just didn't feel comfortable 
The person next to me, he's playing like this loud. The person next to me is playing this loud music. Okay. The person next to me, he was playing some really loud music. This camera is too close to the edge, I'm guessing. I just, I don't know. Like, the weird thing is that, like, I'm not, I'm, I, th I feel like everybody feels this way. I'm definitely tired of, like, I'm not tired of being single. I like it. Um, it's just that I wish that the people in my life were just, like, not fake. And the problem is that they don't know that they're being fake. So it sucks. Like, but I don't know which one is better. Somebody who knows they're fake and they know the difference or somebody who is just naturally just a fake person and they don't even know. They've been fake for so long, they don't even know that they are. Like, I don't even know which one is worse, the naturally fake person or the person that's being fake on purpose. Like... Oh, it's Easter weekend, so there is going to be a bit of traffic, people trying to go to church and stuff. Thank you for calling now, Maxwell. To the director call. To the oil change department? My pleasure. So, I could have been gotten my oil change, so now I'm going to go get it. That's just the weirdest thing ever. I'm like... What, what you know I guess it depends on what person you're talking to that day um, but he could also be telling me about this one the first guy was telling me a synthetic blend so a syn but that was just really expensive for a synthetic for a synthetic honestly but let's see we'll see what happens I'm gonna try to get um I'm gonna see if I can just get the middle thing like not necessarily a conventional oil change but maybe like a synthetic blend oil change or something. I don't know, guys. I'm being cheap right now. I just hate this car so much. I literally do whatever it needs to do to get by. Like, I wash it. Like, a couple people have actually hit my car, like, since August. Yeah, two people have hit my car. Um, so I have damage on my back left door. It's not, like, serious damage, but, I mean, it's kind of noticeable sometimes. I mean... And then somebody, you can't even see the one who hit me in the back. And that, that was, like, the biggest check. <laughs> like, I got such a big check, and she barely even bumped me. Like, I mean, like, she bumped me, and it shook my car. But I think this car is just, like, really, really solid. And um, it takes a lot to take it out. So maybe that was why. The guy just went back there, and he just kind of, like, buffed it out and popped it out a bit. And it looks like nothing happened at all. So I don't know. I don't even think anybody would notice it. But yeah, I'm thinking about just trying to like sell this car and sell it to a dealership. I'm not sure. Oof. Or something. Because I, I really need a different car. So we're going to see. I only have 30% left on this camera. These cameras, they just have such bad... Um, they, have, they hold such horrible batteries. It doesn't matter how small it is. Like this one last night... While I was vlogging, I literally did not vlog yesterday, obviously, you guys, so I barely vlogged at all. Maybe, like, eight minutes worth of vlogging. This camera got too hot, and, um, I had to stop. It, it literally, like, I was talking, and I looked down, and it's blank, because the camera overheated. This damn thing overheats all the time, and that's really, really annoying. I've never, ever had a camera overheat. Like, my Canon T5i, it, maybe they just pack too much into this little tiny camera or something, but, um... Mine doesn't overheat like that, so that was just so weird to me. What else do I have to do today? Oh, yeah, I have to go ship off a few more clothes today. You guys, don't forget to shop my closet. I'm getting rid of stuff to fund my trip. And just to get rid of stuff. Like, I would much rather, like, you know, because if I'm going to... I would much rather... I mean, it's technically, you're pretty much just paying for the shipping. <laughs> Almost. Like, I really just want to get rid of my clothes, but I feel bad just, like, giving it to, well, you know, whatever. Like, I don't want to just give it to the Goodwill or whatever or to those little boxes. Because number one, those boxes that they have, those freestanding boxes, first of all, those aren't even like, like, they act like they're just going to donate it to people. They don't. They resell it. Because my ex-boyfriend, he used to work at those donation bins. And one day, my mom had put my stuff in the do in donation bin. And, it, and he worked at like the Salvation Army type of thing. It wasn't a Salvation Army, but you know what I mean. It was like a thrift thing. My stuff was in there, guys. Like, my stuff was in there. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, these are my shoes. He was like, are you serious? I said, yeah, that's my stuff in there. So, yeah. 
they had a lot of my stuff in there because you know I couldn't fit it anymore my mom had donated it or whatever but they act like they're donating it to needy families when in reality they aren't guys like they're just lying that first sold me my car just walked up to me and is like oh you need to get another car no how fucking no I absolutely hate this place I hate coming here <sighs> oh good there's more sugar I'm gonna take some of these I can at least get some type of money back for the bullshit I've been through this last year with that damn car. That sucks. I'm just gonna steal some sugar from you if you don't mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Thanks. Are you streaming through the phone? To that camera? No. No? <laughs> I uploaded to my camera. Yeah, I'm gonna start editing this coffee is really really good. I think I'm gonna change the channel on here, I'm not sure. Hold on. Okay. I'm not sure why you guys can't see me. Oh, because I'm not facing the light, duh. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just got done here at the oil change place. Wow, they parked so close to the wall. Like, goddamn, goddamn. That's no, fine. I'm so glad to get that over with, guys. It ended up being under $50. Like, I don't know what that person was talking about the other day. I mean, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to start coming to the dealership more often. Because before, I would just go to any place like that was near, but now I'm just going to go to wherever I bought it. You know, this line of dealerships or whatever. But anyway, okay, so this is where I bought my car at. At the Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Mac Hake, Hake Place or whatever, but guys, don't buy your car from here if you can avoid it unless you really, really know what the fuck you're doing and you're not like me who falls under pressure very fucking easily. Um, it, he wants me to like, um, trade in my car or whatever and get a different car. That means I would have to put this car on top of that car. Hell fucking no. Like, fuck you. Fuck no. Well, fuck you. And no, I just, you know, they just give you really bad advice. He told me the first time I came in there, he was like, you should really repossess your other car. Like, just let them take it. Or oh, whatever. And I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what I mean? And he was like, no, just go ahead. Do it. Do it. It's like, nah. So the crazy thing is that I ended up letting them, I mean, I ended up getting into a wreck and I fucking crashed my car, my other car I had, and um, I ended up with, literally a week later, I so it, everything ended up working out, but it's just that this car sucks. Like, the car is cool, but the rate is just horrible. So I'm, I'm working on doing a story time so people can understand, especially black women, because they really get us. Like, we get the worst of everything like they don't understand that even though we don't look at us like we're the lowest of the lowest in simple terms they do like it doesn't matter how you know they try to like do anything they literally can and people if you're looking at this and you're rolling your eyes saying it's not a black thing it's a woman's thing no no no. number one it shouldn't even have to be a woman's thing so if you're even agreeing if you <laughs> obviously you see something's wrong if it's even a woman's thing so what makes you think that they're gonna stop at a race thing they don't stop they will literally get money out of you any way they possibly can and they will lie and do whatever they need to do and once you're in the contract you're in the contract so yeah that's my thing right now like I, I like people are always like oh my gosh your car is so beautiful I fucking hate this car this is not what I wanted and like I said for what I've been paying on this car like my car no is what some people's rent is and also I could have honestly bought like an Audi or a BMW or a Mercedes I could have literally bought like a you know looks like a standard Mercedes or something for what I paid for this and I could have bought a brand new BMW not even like a used one so you know after I'm gonna explain to people about interest and stuff because whenever if I try to explain to somebody who doesn't really get it 
they don't know what the hell I'm talking about but um I understand interest so okay so that was quick I got some mail in my PO box I keep getting this other man's mail he's been done with that I ordered like a bunch of liquid lipsticks for like a dollar and they came just in time for me to move um, they said they would probably be here April 11th so I'm so glad that they came early because <laughs> I'm leaving this fucking place um, I'm gonna end up I'm gonna call U-Haul and I'm probably just gonna end up getting me like a little U-Haul trailer and doing it like that okay I'm kind of excited about these colors I'm not gonna lie well no I'm not forget it forget it fuck it I tried to get the cheapest I mean the darkest colors possible this one only has five that's weird like I ordered six but they only brought five and they brought five of the same colors this is what I got but they're all the same like but I ordered different colors like I know I did there's no way I would never order three colors of one that I've never even tried it before in my life Okay, well, I waited an entire month for some bullshit, of course. <sighs> so, anyway, I'm going to go. I just finished uploading three videos. I'm, I submitted them. Hopefully, they get approved. Once the company approves my video, um, that's going to let me know that it's okay to keep going and to publish the video. In the meantime of me waiting, you know, and then as soon as my video gets submitted, they pay me. Do you see how dumb I am, guys? Like, I literally am... I This was supposed to be done weeks ago. And <laughs> it's, like, hundreds of dollars that, I, that I'm not doing nothing with. Like, I didn't even do the video because my mind just wasn't in it. I've been so... Isn't that crazy? It's crazy how uh, what's going on in your life can affect you. I literally am okay with losing out on money simply because my brain's just not in it. When you're not settled, it's so difficult to sit there and do a job like especially a job that's like personal I'm just not very good like I'm very transparent so if something wrong is going on in my life it's very obvious I'm not one of those people that like can lie and hide like it's very 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 hard for me and I honestly like I give kudos to people who are really good at that like you know you would never know that things are going on in their life like my work life is just like you know, if I'm having a bad day, um, I like it, uh, when I was doing hair, that's totally different. I could literally turn it on and off. Like, nobody would know that I was something shitty was happening to me, you know? Like, I was getting kicked out of somewhere, something was happening. Like, nobody could tell. But with YouTube, it's totally different. Like, it literally shows in my work that my life is just. You know, and the crazy thing is that, like, I'm not, like, sad or anything. I'm just so up in the air, and so are my videos. So. I need to really, really get on it. This person, whoever, you know, she is not going to be my downfall. She's not going to be the person that, you know, makes me feel bad about myself. That's, she's not it. Like, <laughs> and she doesn't get that. Um, it, it takes a lot for me to, like, really just be down on myself. And a person isn't going to, isn't going to make that, you know, she's not going to determine that. So, anyway, I'm just... <laughs> I just have to say that because like I don't want you guys to think that like I'm down or anything yes when I get to the house my entire mood changes and I don't feel comfortable but I'm not depressed or anything because I have a plan and she's not my only option if she was my only option I would be a really really sad person like seriously I'd be very sad and she would be totally okay with me being a sad person but she can't do that like she can't make me feel bad about myself or anything I'll, I just have to kind of deal with her in the meantime but other than that I mean bitch what like no um and I actually I'm I'm not even waiting for her to give me the go what I was waiting for was this oil change I'm actually gonna record some videos today pack up my things and I'm leaving like seriously tonight like I'm gonna leave uh, I'm gonna pack up some of my things in my car I'm going to my mom's place and then I'm gonna pack up the rest of my stuff or I'm just gonna get a trailer, like a one-time trailer, and do it like that. Like, that's just what I'm gonna have to do. Today, um, I'm gonna go ship off those things. Like, now my mind is clear. Like, the reason why I was so all over the place, guys, it was 
now that I really think about it, it was barely, it wasn't even necessarily just her. The simple fact that I had a deadline. Okay guys, so yeah, so, um, so I'll be honest with you guys. The reason why I'm just now really like figuring it out why I was so stressed out, it, it was like her, but I had already had a kind of like a solution for her. It was honestly two things. Me not being used to having like a job like this, so YouTube kind of like transitioning into a job, I wasn't used to it, so I felt very overwhelmed. Like, but now I'm learning how to like juggle things. Like, before, like now I know if I take on a sponsorship, I'm gonna like as soon as I get the product, I'm gonna try to do it that day, you know, so I don't feel overwhelmed and just backed up with like six people to make reviews about, you know what I mean? That's what that was, it just felt overwhelming, and I can't even explain it. <laughs> And then just with her making me feel uncomfortable in the house, I have a goal and I have a job to do. So that's why it's like, I don't even know what I was thinking. You know, I shouldn't, it's, I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm just a very thorough person. So I don't like a lot of things being unsaid. But now I really just don't give a fuck. Like my brother told me to give her a warning and I'm not going to give her a warning. I'm Just to make the family look good. Bitch, I don't care about you guys. Like, I don't even care about the family. So I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm not going to give her bitch ass a warning. And I'm just going to leave. Like, <laughs> that's it. I'm going to leave just like them. You see that, guys? That's going to be me. Well, okay. Well, yeah, that's, that's me right there. And that... <laughs> in that truck okay <laughs> I don't care okay if you don't really know what I'm talking about I, I okay if you're just not tuning in to the vlog and you haven't been watching the other days my, I called my brother to talk to him about the situation he did not give a fuck really he didn't say that but he tried to act like no he did not even ask me I told him that the lady was crazy he said mm -hmm. that was it he didn't care for me to infer nothing. And every time I brought it up, he just was like, okay. He didn't really even say anything. So then he was like, listen. So then I asked him, what does he think? And he said, well, listen, all I'm going to say is that just so you don't make the family look bad, um, you should give her a warning. And so I, I was going to do that anyway because I'm not, I'm really just not a spiteful person. It's very hard for me to be spiteful. So when I'm having somebody who's just being rude to me and I'm not being rude, it makes me so angry because you know I'm not a rude person. But you're being rude and I'm not trying to be. So it's like somebody's just being very rude to you and you're just kind of like not really getting it. That's the situation for us. I'm not mean. I'm not a mean person. So it's hard when you have somebody who lives with you who's just mean and stuff. And I have to go get out of my character to be spiteful. It's just too much for me. So he told me to do that. Okay, great advice, motherfucker. I was already going to do that. But since he told me that about making the family look good, I don't care about any of you. So now I'm going to not tell her. And I was going to tell her I was leaving. So today is, what, the 27th? I move out in four days, four or five days. I'm not going to tell her. I'm literally just going to leave. Like, and that's it. So thanks. Thanks, brother, for, t you know, for telling me. Hey, guys. Okay, so I know I look very frantic right now. Oh. Hey, God, I'm gonna... Boy, do I have a story to tell you guys about this bitch. About this woman. I don't even call people that name. That's like not... Ooh. So I just got done mailing off two packages. I got a package like an hour ago. So I was like, fuck, it's crunch time. Then I accidentally bought two shipping labels for one package because they... I didn't know... I thought that like if they're just printing it out then you know I'm good I didn't know I had to still write my name I was like okay that's kind of confusing so anyway I ended up buying two so you know I'm about to revoke that charge and I'm just playing but um now I'm headed over to HEB because I need to go there finish editing all the videos I only have one video left to upload no I have three video no I have two videos that need to be uploaded um, two have been submitted. Well, one has been submitted, so I'm waiting for approval from the sponsor. Then I have one more video to submit to wait for approval from the sponsor. Today is the weekend, so it's a really good time to post. So I'm hoping that I hear back from them at a decent time. Um, because if they don't tell me the yay or nay, then I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to, um, you know, upload the video. So yeah. Then guys, I dropped my baby. I dropped my baby on the ground, my camera guys. I was so devastated. I was like, 
and it happened like I was just in such a rush like I'm always rushing and stuff I need to take it easy like take a fucking chill pill girl damn I have to constantly tell myself like chill chill I just it's just that number one the post office closed at 12 and I thought it closed at 1 because online it said 1 but you know they lie about every motherfucking thing so I ran to the dollar then I found out you could just ship it any day I thought I had to wait for shipping in the hours of shipping no you don't you can ship it any time of the night you want to so that makes me very 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 happy I got a large order in whoever the girl was I'm gonna well I've been sending everybody emails I was looking for my cards to put in each order like you know to tell people thank you for ordering and everything but I can't find them they're these little cards my sister bought me like a long time ago they have the um, initial C on it so yeah it would have been like a little personalized touch to my to my crappy um, packaging or whatever so I was gonna you know do that just to make it kind of cute I don't know I don't want to act like I'm trying too hard but I am happy like I'm very appreciative that people are actually actually buying this stuff and she bought like eight things so that made me very happy um to whoever she is so I'm just gonna email her and just tell her thank you so much for getting that stuff off my hand thank you lord thank you Jesus <laughs> let me put the air on y'all I had the heat on earlier because um it's so hot like my god it's hot um now it was 56 degrees earlier you guys now it's like 70 inside the car it's even more hot so anyway let me tell you guys about my roommate let me tell you guys so i was trying to make it to the post office before one o'clock um because i thought that's when it closed and i didn't know i could use the machines like i was telling you guys earlier so i went to the house i was rummaging through everything you know folding clothes um one of the dresses i had i was actually in the middle of spot treating overnight with like baking soda because out of nowhere there was like a weird spot on the dress like i haven't worn that dress literally in four years four years guys and when i saw it i was like what the hell is but it's like a moving stain you know like maybe something like dropped on it and i've only worn the dress once because i have like literally I bought four Urban Outfitters jean dresses because I love them so much. I was like, when I get fat, you know, I still want to rock it. So I bought four sizes, two, four, six, and eight. So I sent her the size four because, like, go, because the size two had already been sold. And actually on the website, I didn't specify the size and I just noticed that. So I kept the eight. I cannot find the six. I had already sold the two um, because the girl emailed me and was like, hey, I really wanted the two. I mean, I want the smallest size you had, and I told her I had the two. So this girl in particular, when I went to go find it, it wasn't there. So I was like, you know what? I, you know, so last night, I, um, I mean, not last night. No, no, yeah. Three days ago, I started spot treating this because I was like, okay, well, it seems like people are interested in the jean dress, so I'm going to start spot treating it. Anyway, it was still drying. Um, I left it in the car. Um, and it, it was drying and then I blow dried it. It was still drying So I think it should be pretty much dry by the time it gets to her. They're saying it's gonna take two days It should get there by Monday. So I picked pretty good shipping. So anyway, yeah Like I was saying I went to go get some tape now. She has tape guys. I don't have any tape Like Every time I come here guys the most rattiest of all rat um, people drive over here I swear like these people cannot drive and they they will jump into your lane without a blinker and they'll go slow right in front of you like they're like bitch fuck you <sighs> anyway about the tape guys went to go get some tape thought I was good you know I'm getting it out because let me tell y'all something this woman uses my stuff like she eats my food she uses my shit like religiously um she hasn't been doing it as much because you know we're beefing because she chose to beef and um you know i'm just giving me a little bit of tape one strip like literally the strip is about maybe a foot long because the box was about a foot long she says are you using my tape and i said yeah 
So yeah, I am. And I was, and she said, you didn't ask me. And I said, oh, do I have to ask? I said, no, I said, oh, I didn't know we had to ask each other because you feel so freely to eat my food, use my things. I mean, sometimes she'll ask if it's already in my room, but if she sees something out, she would just use it. And I know it's her house, but it's my thing. So it's like, and you know, there may be time to time where she'll just ask me. So then um, after that, she starts saying like, um, so then I said, well, I didn't know I had to use it, like I said. And then I said, okay, trying to be cordial. I said, well, can I use the tape? She didn't say anything. She literally looked away and kept peeling her potatoes. So I said, I was like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I threw it on the counter and I walked away. This bitch does not know me. She doesn't know me. And that's the thing when you move with somebody that you don't live with, that you're not living with. Okay? <sighs> There's only, like, I don't even know why she's pushing. That's the thing that's really bothering me. It's like, what exactly are you pushing? You know I'm not a violent person. You know I'm not rude. But you are still pushing me. Like, what is the point of that? And you're claiming to be, like, such good friends with my sister. My sister is such a respectable person to you, but you're treating her sister like crap. Just because you think that me and her, no, we don't have a good relationship. But just, but even, you know, just because we don't have a good relationship, you want to treat somebody like crap just because you think that, you know, we definitely don't have a good relationship. But that doesn't mean, okay, I'm going to start treating somebody like crap. Like, just be, you know, anyway, so I say, you know what? I'm going to talk to my sister today. So I did talk to her earlier today, but she's going to call me later on about things because my mom had called her and told her some of the things that were going on. You see, what I don't like is misinformation. The lady has been telling them that I don't pay her rent, anything like that. Like, that's what she's been telling them. Now, when I first moved with her, she told me I didn't have to pay her rent, but of course I didn't listen to that, and I still paid the bitch rent. Like, I was, I, I've had people tell me that before, and they did not mean it. So, with you know, I, I did it anyway. Um, you know, but whenever somebody stays with me, if I say you don't have to pay rent, like, I mean that. You know, I mean it. And I'm not gonna say, oh, you don't have to pay rent, then when I feel like it'd be like, okay, you need to pay me, blah, 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 blah. And then, guys, the crazy thing is that she's raised the rent. So, I just got done, um, editing and all that that I needed to do. But some of the videos did not write off, like... Okay, so I uploaded the like the 40 minute video. Oh no, it's only 30 minutes. Um, I uploaded what two videos. I submitted the last of my sponsors and I submitted the pictures that I needed to to the very last sponsor. That that's taken me literally three weeks to do because I just hate the back and forth and I hate sending pictures. So yeah. I parked a little bit far from where I parked at. Okay, made it to the car. So, um, sometimes whenever my phone, I mean, whenever my camera just like shuts off, it's not me. It's not even because it's dying. It's because, um, sometimes the battery will overheat. Like, um, even if it's like a cool day, it will still overheat. So, yeah. Um, right now I'm headed to the house. Well, no, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the, what is it called? car wash I just washed my car but I'm gonna wash like I'm gonna throw away some things organize some things in the back and the inside so I can start moving everything um I could not get the u-haul number so like literally about 10 more items I would be good like 10 more items before I leave that would be a freaking blessing that would be a blessing <laughs> honestly I don't want to sound like a nerd I know you guys always laugh at me because of the way that I talk. I know I talk like, you know, whatever, but whatever. So yeah, so far I've made, okay, I wanted to, I've made over $100, which is so surprising. And I haven't been spending any money. Like, um, I mean, everything I did on this weekend was on his dime. I did buy myself a 50 cent soda. But yeah, um, I've been, I don't really want to go home and I don't want to cook the food that I have in there because she irks my nerves so bad. Like, I feel like if I even start cooking, she's going to get on me about it. But at the same time, I don't like wasting money. I don't want to waste any more money going out to eat. Um, so I'm like, 
I don't want to waste any more money. So, okay, yeah, Jamie and Nikki, they just replied to my comment on YouTube. I was like, you guys, this new vlog looks so professional. It's when the, it's like they're taking the baby to the picnic for the first time today. So, yeah. Um, today, for me personally, was a vlogging fail. Like, okay, so the vlog for the 22nd, I don't know what the hell happened to it. The 23rd is completely a bust. That person in front of me could have gone. That's why I broke so, like, I might have had to break. Anyway, um, yeah, the vlog for the 23rd is completely gone. It's not writing off to my computer. It's just showing up as a question mark, so I can't even edit it um, tonight. I'm going to have, so I had to leave the, I had to leave the store because I know that this is going to require me to do something that I, I don't want to sit there at the store and do because it's going to take me an extra hour. Like, typically, once I get to H-E-B, I like to have at least three vlogs edited so I can just start uploading while I'm editing the other vlog. Uploaded, scheduled, other vlog, uploaded, scheduled. Like I like to try to do like five vlogs at one time. But due to me only wanting to do, that's my mom, be like two days ahead, it's kind of difficult. Whew. Hey guys, so now I'm at the, um, I'm at the car wash right now. Don't take this one away. Ugh. There's always somebody talking about don't take this the wrong way. God. Anyway, I'm at the gas. I mean, the car wash. I'm getting ready to vacuum out my seats and everything. My internet is acting so slow today. I don't know if it's the area that I'm in or what the hell is going on, but um, yeah, my internet's going fucking slow. This entire area sucks right now. Um, so I guess I guess I can just reply through email. I don't know. Oh, well, see, I'm getting ready to go vacuum my seats out, put everything into a little bag back there so that when I start moving things, I can just put it, like, in my back seat because I don't know if I'm going to take two trips down to Orange or if I'm just going to take one trip down there because my beautiful chair decided that it just did not want to fit into my car. <laughs> I mean, it just sucks. Like, it just seems like it would fit, but it just doesn't. That chair is too damn big, obviously. But, yeah. Oh, that's weird my lights are on in the daytime okay so i just pulled over to a place that had some shade and now the, it's 5 18 so the sun is going down anyway i'm really hoping that these vlogs that i've been recording actually write i'm hoping because the other ones did not write i just received another order so i'm gonna go ship that I know shipping's kind of like over right now, but <coughs> I'm gonna go do that. I mean, you know, I can still do it after hours. It seemed like when I do self-service, it's actually cheaper. It seems. Um, I could be wrong though. It just seemed like it. So right now I'm headed to the Salvation Army. Should I go there or should I just do it all at once? No, I'm gonna do it now. Since I'm already on the same street as Salvation Army, I'm gonna go do it now. Um, I have just a couple things that um, I want to do a little drop off really quickly. I'm so glad that I did that oil change, guys. I don't know if I said this earlier, but my car is riding like, I'm on, a, <laughs> I'm on like a bumpy road, weirdly enough right now. But the ride is a lot more smooth than I don't know what kind of oil change they did, but I'm very happy that they did it because my car is just riding really smooth, like almost like when I first got the car. It's riding really smooth, so. It was worth it. Yeah, oil change worth it. Oil change worth it. Oil change is worth it. I'm changing oil. It's here. It's her. Hopefully that same guy isn't there. He's, He's, I'm not trying to my own horn, guys, but the donations man is constantly trying to get a piece of your girl. Like, every time I come there. And then the weird thing is that, like, it's always, like, different donations. Okay, you guys should just go. Like, you see me, like, literally. Okay, now what do I do, guys? I'm, you know what? I'm going back to the house. I don't know why I always get like this. It's almost like I'm back in high school or something. Like, I get this weird uneasy feeling anxiety because I kind of like I don't mind I, how do I explain this so like confronting someone that you live with a lot of times is more 
it's worse it's like harder than confronting someone that you don't live with like if it's somebody it's like it's weird because if it's like somebody that you don't really know it's easy it's like you can just be like listen blah blah but it's like i know her but then i think about it and it's like it's not hard for her to confront me and make me feel uncomfortable and make me feel weird so like why <laughs> why can i not say nothing i mean like why shouldn't i say something why am i being scared you know i didn't like the angle of that and i'm not even that type of person and every time i get into situations like that i tell myself like chinyara you should have said something and i don't want that to happen anymore like, i'm really tired of that like so today is probably the day guys if i go back in there i'm gonna record myself like walking in you know, just in case I have any problems with this woman. Because I want you guys to kind of, like, see how she is. Like, she is so evil sometimes. Like, she just has this evil smirk. And I, and I already know she's probably gonna, going to want me to pick up the tape off the counter. You know, but, um... And I don't want to be, like, typically whenever I'm talking to her like I'm just calm and I'm like trying to get through to her and you know whatever but one thing I've learned like even in like high school with like and I know that I'm like an adult but if you keep letting somebody like you know talk down to you all that stuff like they will literally take advantage of you like I'm one of those people like if I see somebody's getting beaten down I'm just like you know what <laughs> like unless they've actually done something really really bad to me and they deserve that I just kind of like, eh, I just let it go. And I'm just, but no, her, she's just like, not letting up at all. And she's the one who's wrong, but she doesn't think that she's wrong. Mind you, what is she gonna be like, 47 this year? It's like, bitch, you're too old for this. You're way too old for this, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't even do. Like, seriously, I can't do. Okay guys, so just my luck, she's backing out literally as we speak, while I'm backing in. I'm guessing she just did some hair made some money now she's about to go get something to eat like they always do so i'm about to start packing up my shit this is perfect timing this is god honestly because she does not leave the house i swear she don't leave the house and she's going that way so she's getting something usually she goes this way she's just checking the mail hey guys <sighs> okay i may look a little bit tired right now let me tell you what happened so like I said, when I was, when I pulled up, like she was pulling out of the driveway, crazy. And I ran upstairs and I just immediately started putting my shit in my car. Um, I fit like one tote full to the brim of clothes. It was too heavy for me to just carry. So first I carried the tote, then I put the clothes in there second. Um, I put like a, I got all my things out of the kitchen. There weren't, there wasn't a lot, surprisingly, not surprisingly. Um, I had like my blender, a few boxes of cereal, like literally about two bags of things that I had in the kitchen. That was all I had for her. Like, I'd, and I have a few dishes that I need to go take away too. I'm glad I just said that because it just reminded me. And yeah, I got my TV in the back. And, um, I just thought about it. I don't even really need like my full table desk. She can have that. I just thought about it. She can have it for whoever lives there next. You never know, they may need a table or something. You know, and she did help me out. She was just a bitch towards the end, you know? And yeah, and I don't know, so. I really wanted that little desk, that, that little drawer thingy. But you know what? On this move, guys, I'm going to have so much better. Like, I am. I'm going to have better than what I have. So, if I just keep that mindset, then that's what I'm going to have. So, that's the way that I'm going to think about everything. Like, all of this... all this crap and stuff that's happening to me or whatever like people being the way they are like it's just it's all just so temporary and stuff so 
right now I'm driving to a gas station because oh yeah and then after I didn't I keep talking and not finishing my sentences so she she left for about maybe like 30 minutes maybe I got in I got a few things done to be honest a few I think I did pretty good um, then I went up, then, oh, that's what happened. Okay, so literally after like 15 minutes of like moving, trying to move stuff, I was not prepared for her to leave because she never leaves the house. Um, the crazy thing is that before I even got to the house, you guys saw I was like cleaning out the back of my car, so I was moving stuff around. Then, um, you know, after 15 minutes, I, I, I'm holding a bunch of stuff. I come outside and I look and she has clients waiting for her outside and I just kept going to my car I was like okay let me just go back I didn't sometimes the clients talk and I didn't want them saying yeah we just saw a girl carrying a bunch of stuff you know to her car and I didn't want them to think I was stealing either because you know I have a flat screen TV and I was carrying the flat screen to my car and I didn't want to look crazy to neighbors but I don't have a box for the flat screen because I threw the box away it was taking up too much space and um you know <clears throat> so anyway I just bought some saran wrap. I mean, not saran wrap. I have bubble wrap. Um, I have to go mail off some weave to someone, too. You know what? I'm going to do the weave part first. And, um, well, you know what? Since I'm already here, and I'm just going to kind of like saran wrap the TV and move things around in my back seat because I literally just threw everything in the trunk. <sighs> and you know what? And, and then I have my coffee table. Um, if I can do this fast enough, then I may bring the coffee table down while she's not looking. So, I'm going to get it done. And I'll, and depending on what it looks like, the client looks like. Depending on what the client is looking like, how far she is on her, then that's how I'll know. I just texted my mom and I told her to call me. Okay, let me get off of here. This thing is, this phone is like so distracting. So distracting. Whew, all right. Oh, you are being so sweet tonight. Okay, a door. So, you guys can't see it, but like, that's my mom. Hello? Uh -oh. <sighs> Just got to phone my mom. My mom is watching some movie and in between commercials, she keeps calling me. I don't know why I feel like weirdly like itchy and I, I didn't even sweat. Like it's what it's 68 degrees right now. It's and it's windy too, so it's pretty cool outside but I don't know like I feel like glass is on me something's weird but anyway I'm gonna take a shower when I get back to the house I just feel I, I did not sweat like barely at all today and yeah I'm still I'm just feeling weird like not even itchy it's just like hurting like a, I don't know it's weird <sighs> okay like I was saying if she's done with um, her client by the time I get down there I mean, if she's not done, then I'm going to bring my table down. Um, I just need to kind of get... I should go back. You know what? No, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go see if she's done with this client first. And then I'm going to... Because... Yeah... If she's not, this would be a good time for me to just bring down my table, call it a day, so I can avoid them. If, if the client is still there, I'm gonna see their car. But since I'm only around the corner, I'm gonna just like whip back and go see. Why am I being sneaky? Because she snuck up the rent on me. I don't like the way she's, I don't, I don't like how nasty things have turned. Like, that is just so weird to just be a nasty person like that. And I don't hold grudges, but I remember things I'm just one of those people like I don't allow things to happen like multiple times like you know once you show someone yourself then it's like come on come on bitch like are you really gonna be that dumb to keep falling for it no <laughs> I'm just gonna move on and stuff anyway so 
guys the way that my car is like packed right now i love it i absolutely love it like it's just my clothes, my TV, and then it's about to be my coffee table. And that's exactly how I envision myself going to California. Like, of course, some shoes, I guess. But I never, like, pictured myself with a bunch of shit. And you know what? I think, I think it's time to let go. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. I loved that chair. Like, absolutely loved that chair. And I don't know. I'm just so on the fence about whether I should get a storage or not you know for my my you know just a tiny storage that's like 20 bucks a month I am so you know on the fence about it like should I do it should I not you know everything's just so up in the air and you would think oh you have five days to think about it like technically you don't really have five days technically you don't so anyway guys I've been thinking about getting some merch like I obviously am working really hard and, and doing what I need to do to move like I've been working on trying to do studies and I've been doing hair and working on YouTube and accepting sponsorships you guys I have been accepting sponsorships for fucking cheap that I did not even really want to do but it's like I I want to you know fine and, and I'm not okay obviously I'm not a proud person really like you know how some people are just like too proud to say things or admit things that is not me i will do anything i'll do whatever like especially if i have to support myself i'll do it but the thing about me is that i know there's alternatives to certain things like i know that i don't have to do this and that like out of disparity like other people do like i i, I oh you know what it's dark so her son is back home he, I can guarantee he's back home. He's going to see me lugging around that shit. And he's so loud. He's going to be like, she like that. Ugh, he's so annoying. You guys, I'm so blessed to not have grown up with a younger brother. Like, seriously. Wow. I'm glad I didn't make it all the way to the house. Start moving the table and then notice that he's downstairs. Whatever. You know what, guys? Oh, did I tell you guys? I talked to my sister today, and I feel so much better. Like, after talking to her, I almost feel like I could stay another month. Like, seriously. Because it was, like, weighing so heavy on my heart. I thought that... Because my brother, he made a remark the other night. Like, okay, well, maybe you can give her your chair as a form of payment. And I was thinking to myself, like, do you think that I don't pay this woman rent? Like, you think I stay here for free? Mm-mm no effing way i don't stay i don't i don't sorry to burst your bubble <laughs> i don't i couldn't believe that like when he said that i was like wow i wanted to clap like you really think that <sighs> but um no i wish <laughs> i need a refund technically <laughs> just kidding but uh yeah so anyway so I, I talked to her for about an hour and then we started talking about merchandise and stuff you know and um she was like, oh, Chanera, you should really start making merchandise or whatever. You know, or just make t-shirts. And she was telling me about Teespring. Now, I had actually, I've already started on looking at, you know, merchandise and stuff that I could sell. Um, I'm already ahead of my sister. She doesn't even know. <laughs> and I was telling her my ideas for the merch and everything. And uh, she was like, wow, you know, she didn't know how ahead of things I was and she didn't know that I sold things online and all that stuff. I was like, yes, girl, I am way ahead of you, like <laughs> way ahead of you. If I waited for your suggestions, I would not, <laughs> not to be rude or anything, but like, come on, girl, like, come on. But it was nice. She told me that she would like to, um, she wants to sit down for coffee and, you know, just like help her with her marketing tips and everything. <sighs> to be honest with y'all, I don't even have a real like marketing thing. I just try, I just, you know, just talk and stuff. So, you know, because my sister has so much going on in a day and she's so busy, um, she would be really interesting to people her her life her husband her kids like the whole process and everything like she's just such a busy person you know i think people would be interested in it but i wouldn't tell anybody that she was my sister if we were youtubing i don't want people coming after her you know 
and uh and then you know but not even because i've said mean things about her it's simply because of the type of videos that i make i don't want people attacking her based off of me you know what i mean it's just a totally different thing especially because you know that's just but it's like this is online so whatever you put out there like people will follow and stuff so that's just you know what it is like I was watching what's her name Trisha Paytas and her boy her ex-boyfriend Sean and I was just looking at people literally like tear him apart online and I was like people are fucking stupid like you know no he shouldn't have left her in the car overnight like that like let her sleep in a car I mean under no circumstance like let her you know but she even said that it's her fault because she's fucking crazy so it's like why attack him you like her so much that you but i saw people telling him to kill himself i was like oof you know so that's what i mean by that like you put yourself like whenever you do that you put yourself in like the the line okay so i just shipped off my last shipment for tonight i feel like i can finally be alone with y'all like i don't really have anything to do until tomorrow so i'm gonna charge my camera uh okay now it's at the 17 percent at first my battery was at like six percent it was saying but i guess it went up when i turned it off i'm not sure but yeah um i'm gonna charge both of my batteries tonight i don't like the traffic on that street like it makes you go so slow and so many breaks and you gotta watch out for people and don't hit my kids it's craziness that's better oh it feels so good to just be on the road with my stuff in my back. In the back of me, it feels so good. It would have been so great if I could have gotten my, you know, coffee table in here tonight, but that's okay. I'm actually filming a room tour, like my very first one. So I guess I'll get shots at a coffee table, like pre t you know, uh, I guess, what is that? After television is gone? I don't know what word I'm thinking of, but yeah. I need to really wash this Starbucks cup that I have next to me and everything. Man, I am just so uncomfortable. I slept pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, at my friend's house. He has a Serta mattress and it feels so good. And whenever I'm there, like I sleep in it alone because I tell him like, don't be touching on me. So he typically would just sleep in the living room and stuff and that's how we get along. <laughs> Like, literally. So, yeah, I just slept and I was farting everything last night. Like, I was farting. Uh, like, my farts were so weird last night. I think I ate too many beef jerkies at one time because, like, my farts were so bad last night. Even I was getting upset with myself. Like, I was feeling uncomfortable with them. So, yeah. And then this morning I left. I was kind of upset with him because he was just getting on my nerves. He kept coming in there telling me about my farts. And it's like... We both had, um, what is that, fo no, something fomaine or something like that, la main. I, I don't know what it was, but it was good. But he was farting really badly too, and he thought he had to go to the bathroom. So it's like, okay, so you can fart, but I can't. You know, listen, like, I can barely stand myself right now, either. So, it's an, so okay, I can't stand myself in the way that I smell, and on top of that, like, you have to tell me that I stink too. It wasn't really making any sense to me. Like, why, why do that? Like, I was, it was, it was sad enough. Like, my farts were so stinky that like I didn't want to lay in the bed. So I put the fan on. I kept running to the bathroom, farting in there, closing the door. Like, that's how bad it was. But that's not the. But listen, guys, I am not like a smelly person. Like, even when I sweat, I'm not like a super smelly person. Like I said, I don't really even wear deodorant like that. Like. I just I'm not a stinky person so obviously if and then on top of that I fart like all through the day guys I'm lactose intolerant and I totally ignore it I just try to suppress it with water but I fart like literally 80 times a day and nobody knows I'm farting I'm farting now like I fart in my vlogs videos they don't sound and they don't smell like they're silent but happy farts so the one time that I do do it and it actually makes you want to die, he's making such a big deal out of it. It's just really frustrating to me. 
So anyway guys, the conversation, so tonight I'm going on Fiverr.com. I've already been looking for someone, like I've been looking for someone for a while to help me like illustrate my story times and stuff. Um, but I just couldn't really find anyone to do it for me. No, no, I just haven't had time. I'm so like all over the place. My mom is like, Chinyuri, you know, the one thing you don't do is let people, she's like, once you get settled, she's like, I know you're going to bloom. Just try to do your best while you are unsettled. I don't even know how to explain this, guys. It sounds almost sounds like I'm being lazy, but when you are a kind of like a, a creative person and you're not stable, you can't put out anything good, really. Like, every time I put out a video, it's like, it's rushed. It's not thought about. It sucks. Like, it really, really sucks. <sighs> so, yeah, I hope that, like, but the good thing is that, like, through my vlogs, people can see that, like, um... You know, I'm just kind of distraught a little bit, just a little bit right now, because I, I wasn't even expecting to move this month. Like, I was gonna try to stay in this apart, in this like room to rent until April. I mean, until May, but now I have to move out. You know, months before, and it really sucks. Like, I didn't plan for this, and um, so yeah. I mean, I I, I like the natural lighting that this room gave me for my videos and stuff i'm glad i bought soft boxes so now i can you know record or whatever but um it's just a lot of unplanned crap guys i just it sucks like it really does suck so like I'm just like not doing anything during the day oh it's eight it's almost nine o'clock it's 8 52 right now I'm just so tired so tired like okay I'm tired of just everything I'm tired of trying I'm just tired of everything like I've been feeling like that these last couple days especially with having to file taxes like Maybe you just want to give up on everything. Like, guys, I've been getting to the point, like, maybe I'm just, like, overwhelming myself. I'm not crying. I have really bad allergies. I'm going to go take an allergy pill when I get back to the house. But I've just been feeling, like, so... Oh, she's still home. Wow. She's still at the house. She's getting a long hairdo done. i just been feeling, like... Oh, the garage is still down, too. Guys, I may be able to do this table thing today. I may able to we'll see no this is a crazy brother who um he likes to spy on people and he likes to record conversations and stuff just craziness um so yeah that's who he is and or whatever he's the one who i told you about he had his daughter call me for my birthday um and i just it was just it was kind of weird because i hadn't talked to her in years and i didn't know if the conversation was being recorded or not so i, I just didn't feel comfortable the person next to me, he's playing like this loud. The person next to me is playing this loud music. Okay. The person next to me, he was playing some really loud music. This camera is too close to the edge, I'm guessing. I just, I don't know. Like, the weird thing is that, like, I'm not, I'm, I, th I feel like everybody feels this way. I'm definitely tired of, like, I'm not tired of being single. I like it. Um, it's just that I wish that the people in my life were just, like, not fake and the problem is that they don't know that they're being fake so it sucks like but i don't know which one is better somebody who knows they're fake and they know the difference or somebody who is just naturally just a fake person and they don't even know they've been fake for so long they don't even know that they are like i don't even know which one is worse the naturally fake person or the person that's being fake on purpose like Oh, it's Easter weekend, so there is going to be a bit of traffic, people trying to go to church and stuff. Thank you for calling now, Maxwell. To the, to the oil change department? My pleasure. So, I could have been gotten my oil change, so now I'm going to go get it. That's just the weirdest thing ever. I'm like, what, what you know, I guess it depends on what person you're talking to that day. Um, but he could also be telling me about a different one. The first guy was telling me a synthetic blend. So, 
a but that was just really expensive for a synthetic for a synthetic honestly but let's see we'll see what happens I'm gonna try to get um I'm gonna see if I can just get the middle thing like not necessarily a conventional oil change but maybe like a synthetic blend oil change or something I don't know guys I'm being cheap right now I just hate this car so much I literally do whatever it needs to do to get by like I wash it like a couple people have actually hit my car like since August yeah two people have hit my car um so I have damage on my back left door it's not like serious damage but I mean it's kind of noticeable sometimes I mean and then somebody you can't even see the one who hit me in the back and that, that was like the biggest check like, I got such a big check, and she barely even bumped me. Like, I mean, like, she bumped me, and it shook my car. But I think this car is just, like, really, really solid. And, um, it takes a lot to take it out. So, maybe that was why. The guy just went back there, and he just kind of, like, buffed it out and popped it out a bit. And it looks like nothing happened at all. So, I don't know. I don't even think anybody would notice it. But yeah, I'm thinking about just trying to, like, sell this car and sell it to a dealership. I'm not sure. Oof. Or something. Because I, I really need a different car. So we're going to see. I only have 30% left on this camera. These cameras, they just have such bad, um... They, have, they hold such horrible batteries. It doesn't matter how small it is. Like, this one last night... While I was vlogging, I literally did not vlog yesterday, obviously, you guys, so I barely vlogged at all. Maybe, like, eight minutes worth of vlogging. This camera got too hot, and, um, I had to stop. It, it literally, like, I was talking, and I looked down, and it's blank, because the camera overheated. This damn thing overheats all the time, and that's really, really annoying. I've never, ever had a camera overheat. Like, my Canon T5i... Maybe they just pack too much into this little tiny camera or something, but um Mine doesn't overheat like that. So that was just so weird to me What else do I have to do today? Oh, yeah, I have to go ship off a few more clothes today You guys don't forget to shop my closet. I'm getting rid of stuff to fund my trip. Hey guys <clears throat> So what time is it? It is 8 53 I'm gonna go get me a little oil change. It needs to be done. I've been putting it off for the longest time. And then after I drop off my car, I'm gonna start uploading all the videos that I edited over the weekend and start um, editing some of those thumbnails and stuff. There you go. That's good in there. So yeah. Eek. Okay, so yeah, anyway, me and him, we got into a little spiff last night, and then he just kind of, like, he keeps poking and poking. He's one of those type of guys, which is why I was saying that we can never be together, because I will kill him. Um, this is why I'm, I'm not even, like, a hard person to deal with, but I just can't. <laughs> we, I mean, it was cool yesterday, but, um, he just started doing that bullshit that he does. Like, I'm not trying to have sex with you, <laughs> you know? And he just starts acting really like everything starts getting on his nerves once you are not having sex. And I don't have time for that. Like, how about you? How about you be better in bed and then we can work something out? <laughs> how about that? <laughs> so I'm not about to be taking off my clothes for some whack ass dick. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> and he doesn't understand that. Guys just want sex. They don't care a lot of times if it's good or not or if it's even good for you. They just want sex. And it doesn't work like that. And I'm like, who are these women that are still giving these whack-ass dudes pussy? I'm guessing it's just, like, girls who don't maybe know what's good and what's bad. Well, I'm here to tell you. If it doesn't stay up, it's not good. Let's try that. That's for starters. <laughs> Sex talk with Chinere. Just kidding. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to go get me a coffee from McDonald's. I feel like that's just needed right now. Um... I wash my face. My face is a little bit greasy because um, I have that. I'm letting it just kind of set on my face right now. <laughs> set on my face. I'm letting the serum just kind of like sink into my face. Yep. And just to get rid of stuff. Like I would much rather like, you know, because if I'm going to, I would much rather, I mean, it's technically you're pretty much just paying for the shipping. <laughs> Almost like I really just want to get rid of my clothes, but I feel bad just like giving it to, well, you know, whatever. 
like I don't want to just give it to the Goodwill or whatever or to those little boxes because number one those boxes that they have those freestanding boxes first of all those aren't even like like they act like they're just gonna donate it to people they don't they resell it because my ex-boyfriend he used to work at those donation bins and one day my mom had put my stuff in the donation bin and it and he worked at like the Salvation Army type of thing it wasn't a Salvation Army but you know what I mean it was like a thrift thing my stuff was in there guys like my stuff was in there and I was like oh my gosh like these are my shoes he was like are you serious I said yeah that's my stuff in there so yeah they had a lot of my stuff in there because, you know, I couldn't fit it anymore. My mom had donated it or whatever. But they act like they're donating it to needy families when in reality they aren't, guys. Like, they're just lying. Asshole that first sold me my car just walked up to me and is like, oh, you need to get another car. No. How fucking no. I absolutely hate this place. I hate coming here. <sighs> oh, good, there's my sugar. I'm gonna take some of these. I can at least get some type of money back for the bullshit I've been through this last year. Put that damn car. That sucks. I'm just gonna steal some sugar from you if you don't mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, into my skin you know I did my little wash or whatever quick wash and then I put the serum on it and I put the cream on my eyes and everything so yeah I didn't even get my leftover food that's how annoyed I was with this bitch ass <sighs> like it's just a love-hate relationship that I'm ready to be out of I literally only talk to him because guys I don't really have any other options like honestly I don't really have any better options and I don't have really I don't have any options he's the only option I have so I still talk to him and stuff um, but it's just a good thing to get my mind off of things when I'm not being around my bitch roommate you know I'm just constantly around people that I don't want to be around this is why I just like being by myself and I need to be by myself because I don't like people in general so it's hard to be around people that I definitely don't like like it's very hard to meet people it's, it's not even it's just hard to meet people in general and it's not even like it's hard for me to meet people that I actually like. I'm just around people who are older than me and they're set in their ways. And the fake bitches who are set in their ways. It's just, it's really annoying for me to be around these people all the time. My mom called me. I guess I can call her. It's, it's really cold this morning, guys. Like, I'm wearing this and it's 56 degrees outside. Which is pretty cold for Austin. I call back my mom. So, you guys know how I was telling you about my brother yesterday. I had talked to him. I was talking to him about the situation. Well, no, actually, it was two days ago. He doesn't really care because nobody in my family, unless you're not talking about them, they don't give a damn about what you're talking about. Like, seriously. That's just how they are. They really don't care about anybody but themselves. They're the most selfish people. But they still want to call you just to say that they're keeping in touch. They're, 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 they are those type of people. So... Um, anyway, I thought for a second, for a second maybe I could talk to, to him about something. But he's not worth talking to. I don't, like, he's not worth it. You know, and I don't even know if he watches my YouTube. You guys.